Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I hope you enjoy this video. Check out some of my other content and definitely subscribe to my channel. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. If for some reason you are looking for additional content on YouTube, please go to my um, main page and check out the featured channel section. So today's video is a haul video. I have a bunch of stuff that I'm going to unbox and show you. I did do swatches, but you will notice that my nails are done. So I unboxed everything, did my nails, and then I did swatches. So the video of me doing my nails will be up this Wednesday. So I did order, I'm gonna go over everything I got from AliExpress first. So the first store I um, ordered from, I got two more sets of these Gel X dupes. I got the almond and the coffin in medium. So to me, in my mind, these are short, but they say they're medium. Um, I'm just showing you here the size zeros. For some reason, these zeros weren't as wide as the other ones that I've previously shown. I do have pretty wide nail bits and almost always use a zero for my thumb. Um, if you're using like the lazy girl method or um, building the nail underneath the tip, you will have to size up. So those zeros might not work depending on how wide your nail beds are and how you decide to use them. So I also got these rhinestones. Um, they have like 12 different shapes. So I just wanted to play with some more rhinestone placement. So I got these and then I got this chrome powder and it gives you... When you put it on, it gives you like the blue reflection. Unfortunately, I didn't swatch this one, but you can kind of see when I move it around a little bit of the blue shimmer that it gives you. Um, it just came with very little in the container, so I didn't even bother swatching that. So that's what I got from the first store, and I will link that store down below. The second store, all I got was this ombre brush and then some designer stickers. I already have an ombre brush, but I wanted to get one more because I wanted to see if I cut the bristles down a little bit, will I get a better gel polish ombre? And I didn't want to ruin the brush that I already have and not have a backup, so I just got this brush and it was pretty cheap. And these are the stickers that I got. If it looks like it's empty spaces, it's because it's pretty much the same design, but in white and it has a white background, so the camera's not picking up on those white stickers. But that's the second store that I shop from. I will link that store down below. The third store that um, I am showing is Savilon. So yes, you can buy the same Savilon products on AliExpress that you get from um, Amazon. <laughs> so. They do have a lot of kits that come out, but I didn't want the entire kit. That first color um, is in, I guess, their purple kit, but I just wanted um, the glitter color, so I didn't want all of the other colors. Plus, I already have a bunch of colors, Savilon Poly Gel, so I didn't want any dupes, so I just went to their AliExpress store, and it's literally the same product, same packaging. Um, a lot of the stores, the Amazon stores and sellers on Amazon get the same stuff from the same factories that we're getting from AliExpress. So I know there's a lot of, oh, I'm not gonna buy that from China. Um, I'm not gonna buy that from AliExpress. That's literally where everybody else gets their stuff for the most part. So I just wanted to throw that out there. I did end up saving a lot of money by just buying the individual ones. So I did get some glitter polishes and glitter gel polishes as well. And I am going to show you the swatches. I got this purple chrome and I didn't swatch that either. But I did swatch the three poly gels I got. Those are 15 milliliter tubes. And I believe the gel pots are... Um, about five milliliters, but those gel pots a little bit goes a very, very long way. So these are the poly gel swatched. I had purple, the second one was magic spell, and the third one was addict. I will leave a link from the for the Savilon store in the um, description box below as well. 
And the gel pots that I got, the first one was Neon Crystal. The second one is called Blove Diamond. That's that teal color. And then the silver is called Bright Diamond. So you can see how beautiful these um, gel polishes are. So I cannot wait to use those. Um, the next store that I purchased from was Vinalisa. Again, um, I haven't, actually I don't see Vinalisa too much on AliExpress and I don't see this brand used too, too much on YouTube, but I've bought things from them before. I've bought gel polishes from them before and I've used them and I really, really enjoy them. The thing that I like the most about these gel polishes is that they're always under $2. So I think all of these, I didn't pay any more than $1.90 for all of these. So the other thing that I like is the bottle is pretty much the same color as the gel polish. So you know how gel polish, you know, all of the bottles are opaque, so you can't really see what color it is. So some of us watch, watch the bottles or whatever, but this, the bottle is pretty much the same color as the polish. So I do like that as well. This is a thicker a medium to thick consistency, but it wears well, it cures well. Um, I haven't had any bad interactions with it. So definitely, if you're looking to build your gel polish collection, I would definitely look, definitely look into Vinalisa. Again, I will link the store down below. And quickly, I'm just showing you guys all of the colors that I got, um, but I will go ahead and swatch each one and then give you the color numbers as I swatch. Unfortunately, they don't have names. They just have numbers, which is fine because it's pretty easy to order on um, AliExpress and they have a bunch of colors. They also do like a 60 color kit that I'm um, addicted to pink nails. Just sent me the link for that the other day. So definitely check them out. Again, I will leave that link down below. And I did get a transfer foil glue for them, which I have already used. I believe I used that in a video. I don't remember, but I know that I've already used the transfer foil glue. So anyways, the first color that I'm showing you is color number 64. It's kind of like um, a deep fuchsia, which I, or magenta. Maybe that color is called magenta. Um, <laughs> love my pinks. So the next color is 86. It's kind of an aqua, well, more on the turquoise side. And I did do two coats of this polish. Some of them you can get one coat coverage, but I did two coats for the sake of the video. This color is called JS2, so it's a transparent color, kind of like a jelly color. And the next color that I am going to show you is color 51. So it's kind of like a tannish nude. It The bottle looks a little bit more pink than it actually is. Actually, no, it is pink. I'm thinking of the next one, number, um, I'm thinking of another nude that I swatched. But anyways, that's number 51. It's kind of a pinkish nude. This is color number 79, which is a really pretty mint color. And again, I think, like I said, most of these, you a lot of these you can get one coat coverage, but I did do two coat coverage. Um, this color number 32, I couldn't get the yellow in the well of the um, swatch stick, so that's not an indicator of the coverage. Um, again, most of these are one to two coat, two coat coverages. And the top coat that I am using, that I did use for this, was a Vinalisa top coat. It was their tempered top coat. So this is the nude that was less pink, more of the tannish color that I was talking about earlier. So that's the difference between 50 and 51. 50 is more of the tannish, and 51 is more of the pink. So the next color that I am going to swatch is color number 88. I just, there, now we're gonna swatch color number 88. And that is a, what color is 88? I'm waiting for it to come up again. Okay, that's another one of the transparent ones. And this one I think is more on the pink side. So JS2 is a transparent, but it's more on the red side. 
So those bottles to me were a little bit off, but you kind of get the an idea of what's in the bottle versus just having a black bo bottle. And you can see the differences. One's more red and one's more pink um, for the transparent jelly colors. And I did do two coats of those jelly ones, but it really wasn't necessary. Um, you can do one coat if you want it, just a, a little bit slight, a little less of a color. And this color is my favorite out of everyone. This is color number 82. And you can see some of the shimmer in it. This color is so pretty. Um, perfect for the fall. And then the last color I got, you can use this as just a sheer color or you can use it as a topper. But I even like how the bottle is kind of glitter and sparkly and the camera really didn't pick up on that. But these are all the colors that I got from um, Vanalisa. Again, I will link that store for you guys down below. So the next things that I'm going to show you are two gel polishes that, um, oh, that's the transfer foil again. The next things that I'm going to show you are two Beatles gel polishes. And you guys do know I do enjoy Beatles gel polishes. Um, I got both of these off Amazon. That first one is called Bridesmaid Beauty. And then it's a lot of nudes. And the second color is, um, the second set is Hotel California. So I am going to go ahead and swatch those for you guys. I did do all the swatching off camera or this video just would have been entirely too long. It's already pretty long just showing you like what I got. Um, I'm going to add both of these gel polish kits to my Amazon storefront and the link to my Amazon storefront is down below. So the first um, set of swatches I'm going to show you is Bridesmaids, uh, Bridesmaid Beauty and these are the colors and yeah, so you get a lot of grays and pinks, different shades of grades, grays and pinks. Okay, so this set is called Hotel California, so it's a little bit more brighter colors, more summery colors, but um, you guys can wear whatever color you want whenever you want it. I really, really do like the range in this set. Um, for me, it gives you like a little bit of everything, does give some colors that are good for fall as well, but again, wear your colors whenever you want, however you want. But this, this set is called Hotel California. And again, I will be adding that to my Amazon storefront. And next, I'm going to go ahead and show you some stuff I got from McCart. I already opened one of the things and did a whole video, but that was the Life of a Rose um, poly gel kit. And I will link that video for you in the cards above. So what I... What I also got in that little small McCart haul was these Blooming Nail Inks or Blooming Polish or Watercolor Polish. They have a couple of different names on their website. Um, comes with pretty good instructions. Basically, um, I didn't like these. <laughs> I'm not saying you won't like them, but I didn't like them. I have used inks from different brands that kind of spread a little bit better than these did but I'm gonna go ahead and show you the swatches anyway um everyone's preference is different and I feel like on these if you let it dry um you kind of have to not let the ink dry or else it just won't give you the desired look that you want or maybe 
you can get the desired look you want. I don't know. For me, I just didn't like working with these too, too much. I've used al um, alcohol inks before. I actually did a video of the different ways you can do marble. Um, different things you can use to do a marble nail. And I'll actually link that video above. So I know how to use marble inks. Um, again, these just didn't work out for me. So here are the colors swatched. And you guys can be the judge for yourself. Um, the first color I'm going to show you is gold. Which actually looks like a burnt orange to me. So it wasn't giving me gold. And that kind of was the first thing that kind of irritated me. Um, the second color is called Azure. This is actually a really pretty blue. And the third color is yellow, which is kind of um, a brownish yellow. And then we have Fuchsia, which is actually a really pretty pink. The next color is Lead, which is... Um, a very very dark gray or you can call it a faded black and the last color that I will show you is green so I don't know I'll link the video the ways the different ways to do marble and then you'll see me use different inks and then um yeah, these just weren't my favorite, and it's really, really w rare for me to get a product by McCart that I don't like, but I didn't really care for these at all. So the other thing that I got from McCart was I wanted to try their gel polishes, so I just got a, um, a six set of polishes. These are 10 milliliter bottles, and this, the name of this set is called Modern Female. I have... Um, Actually, I ended up getting rid of about 160 polishes. If you saw my Instagram post, um, I did get rid of all my Model 1's products. And um, I got rid of a lot of my nude colors. So I'm kind of just trying to add back to some of the colors I got rid of. Because Model 1's, they are good for a nude gel polish. So um, I just want to try different brands and see how I like their polishes because I will not be using Model 1s anymore. If you want to know why, you can look at my um, Model 1s MMA video. I will link that in the cards for you. Um, and you can kind of be the judge, be your own judge. But these are the colors that came in the kit. All of these, I did one coat. I know generally I do two coat coverage just for the sake of my swatches. But I swatched the first one and got really good coverage and was like, you know, what's the point of doing the second coat? And by this time, I was already getting tired of swatching. So I was like, I'm going to give these one coat and top coat them and just move on with my life. So the first one, the first two, it's just a, a basic white and black. Um, this is the third color. Um, mob, taupe, whatever. You guys know I'm bad at describing colors. And this fourth color is pink, like a dusty light pink. And then the last two colors are kind of a darker version of that first um, mobby, taupeish color. And then the last one is kind of like um, a dusty blue. So I do like the colors in this kit. I really, really liked how these applied. So I can't wait to use those a little bit more. And um, the last thing that I got from McCart was some builder gel. And these are nude builder gels. And so these have the applicator. The tube applicator is like that pointy thing. So it's called nail extension gel. And I guess there can be some confusion when if you think it's poly gel, but I would strongly suggest when you're on their website, just to look at all of their pictures, look at the brush that comes in the kit, because that's always an indicator if it's poly gel or builder gel. But um, I do like builder gel. I like their McCart's builder gel as well, because it pretty much stays in place. So you're not gonna have the self-leveling properties with this builder gel but you're not gonna really run into too much of it running into your sidewalls and your cuticles for the most part. It's gonna stay in place, it's gonna stay where you put it. 
So I did do these swatches again off camera and I'm going to show those to you now. These tubes um, are 30 milliliters. So you can get a lot of use out of these. And the first color I'm going to show you is lipstick pink. And the next color is khaki rose. And the last color, I'm sorry, the next color is khaki rose and the last color is lemonade. For McCart, I do have a 15% off discount code, which will be in the description box below. It's always in the description box below. So I will link their website and then list out the products that I um, did um, swatch in this video. So, oh, I'm tired of talking. This is a long voiceover, guys. <laughs> so real quick, this is a small... Um, small owned business that I want to give a shout out to. It is my sister-in-law. She does do a lot of waist beads. And so her, um, her company is called Beautiful Beads Wasted. And I will link her information down below. She does a lot of waist beads and her waist beads are either stretchy or the tie. And the reason I didn't I'm talking more about the waist beads that I'm showing is because I hate wearing waist beads. I can't stand it being on my skin, but she makes beautiful beads. She does anklets and bracelets as well. The anklet she sent me, I'm just going to wear that as a bracelet because I want to. So her bracelets and her anklets are stretchy, but her waist beads can be tied and or be stretchy. So again, I'm gonna link her Instagram and her website in the description box below. Definitely check out her um, her stuff. Follow her on Instagram, and she is just starting out, so definitely support her. She is just starting out with her website and her business, but she's been making these these um, these beads for a long time. But she just finally decided to um, do a website. So I did get two fingers from Red Iguana. I like um how she sends the instructions with her products and i like how detailed the instructions are um one thing that i did see on the website is i think it was actually her youtube page or someone if you rip your silicone hand or tear it there's an epoxy you can fix it with so I did see that so I just got two fingers I didn't really want to get a full hand I saw that hand from Amazon that um, I haven't really been using I still have flexi hands that I really don't use as much but I just want to try out her products so the the colors I got are um, Lucy that's the lighter skin tone and then Anna Luisa is the darker skin tone and um, just comparing it, them to my skin tone. And as you can see, they're not flat on the bottom like the flexi fingers, so they do roll. So that is one thing that I do like about the flexi fingers. When you have the individual fingers and you set it down, it's flat on the bottom so it doesn't roll all over the place. So those were from Red Iguana. I will link her website down below. And then the last thing I am going to show you guys is what I got from Eden's Rose dot com and or addicted to pink nails so she sent me these are not on her website so she um she just sent me some pedicures in a box i guess she's trying to tell me something about my feet um so she sent me a few of those she sent me pomegranate jasmine mango and eucalyptus so thank you Charde, for those i cannot wait to use them I was actually supposed to do them last week, but I had a kind of a cold, so I didn't do them. And then she sent me another brush cleaner because I destroyed my other one. The brush cleaners are available in her website. So um, she does make her own colored acrylic on her website. She has nail tools and nail art, so definitely check that out. I do have a discount code, um, which will be in the description box down below as well, but y'all these acrylics these colored acrylics are amazing so i had um watched her swatch video of all of her acrylics and i will link her swatch video if i don't have enough room in the cards i will put that in the description box below so i watched her swatch video and i was like oh those look nice those colors are pretty 
oh cool they apply well no you guys have no idea once i was swatching these i had no marbling no color separation none of that it didn't get stuck to my brush like I don't know what she put in these acrylics, but I love it. And you guys definitely need to check out her um, website. Check out her YouTube. I will link everything down below. And like I said, I do have a discount code. So check that out. I did my swatching off camera. Like I said, everything was swatched off camera. This video would have been too long. And I'm just going over the colors. That first color is from her first collection. Um, so that's why the jar is different. Every jar is one ounce. Um, you get one ounce of acrylic. So she did, this is her second collection I'm going to show you. So for her section, second collection, she did upgrade, her, um, not upgrade, I don't want to say that. She did change her jars. So these are the jars for, um, for the second collection. I'm talking too fast. So the first color is Honey Mustard. And I just went in with a top coat um on all of these just i don't know just went in with a top coat um the second color is galaxy so it's like a black and it has like some purple glitter actually i don't know if this is a black or navy blue it looks more navy huh so um and then it has like the the purple glitter in that the first color i don't know if i said it was from her first collection that color was pink angel so back to this second collection. This color is called Peachy. It is like a peach color and it does have some glitters in that as well. Oh God, I've been talking. How long have I been talking this video so far? <sighs> so <laughs> I am tired of talking. The next color that I am gonna show you is called Lollipop and it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful purple. I cannot wait to use this purple. Look how pretty that purple is, guys. And I know on one of her swatch videos, it might, might have been her live when she was on Instagram, she said this reminded her of a blow pop, a great blow pop, and yes, it definitely does. The color is so beautiful. Um, this color is called Seawater and um, so it is a green. It does have some shimmer to it as well. Literally all of these colors apply so well. I didn't have a stained brush. I didn't have this colored monomer. You guys definitely have to check out like this girl's acrylic because it is so bomb. And I'm not just saying that because she's my friend. Um, I, would, I wouldn't be as excited as I was like, I cannot wait to use this. And I know her um, acrylics can be used as dip powders as well. So I'm going to link her swatch video and then you could check out some of her other content, especially as far as her acrylics go. But she is a small business owner and you guys should definitely show your support for that. So the color I was talking over was called Dustin Roses and that was a pretty pink. This color is called Red Roses, which is, in my opinion, I think this is a true red. Um, so this one is called Red Roses, and I have two more. This one is called Blue Jeans, and it is a beautiful blue. And I don't know what it is. I have been loving blue lately. Um, not all blues, not like a light blue, but just this like a royal blue like this particular shade of blue I have been loving lately. So this last color is called Black Panther and it is a black. And like I said, guys, her acrylics do not marble. Um, the color's not separating, which is really hard to do with some of these more pigmented colors, especially black. So that is everything I have swatched. I'm showing you all of the things that I swatched all together so you can understand why I did that off camera. It was just a whole lot of swatching. So I'm going to go ahead and organize my swatches. I do my um, poly gels and builder gels together. Then I do all my gel polishes together and then I do my acrylics together. So I'm going to go ahead and organize them and then I do them by color as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely check out all the links down below. Check out my featured channels. Um, and definitely check out the small businesses that I featured on this video. 
Um, please, please, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Make sure that you do engage on this video. I do like to talk to you guys. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, make sure you like this video. Uh, also, let me know what products you want to see me use next. I have a lot of stuff here. So I am back to uploading twice a week. My next video will be on Wednesday of the nails that I am wearing, the pink nails that I'm wearing. So I will see you guys Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys spending your time with me. See you soon.